Hello YouTube, today's spearfishing episode will be all about golden mullet. It's the time of the year when bigger specimens come closer to the shore to mate so it's quite easy to catch them. I'm still getting used to my new series Triton 90 spear guns so this was a great practice. The first dive and the sun was behind my back so they didn't see me and came directly onto the spear gun tip. You can even see small leerfish in their shoal which will once it grows become their predator. One mullet separated from the shoal and I decided I'm gonna hit it so I don't scare others too much. The hit was pretty good so no worries about losing the fish. I always got the ground feeding fish like salpas and mullets right away because if you don't they will taste like shit. I found those scissors that some fishermen dropped and I must say I'm against rod fishing from the shore because they never really catch anything and all they do is pollute the sea even more with their broken nylon. A few meters further I also found this beer can and I bet it was also thrown here by some dumb rod fisherman. Here I saw a big group of mullets out in the open so I decided I'm gonna get closer and try to call them in. Their behavior really depends on the day as sometimes they will simply escape into the blue immediately which was not the case here. They didn't really care at first but then started to approach slowly but I knew they were not gonna come right away so I backed off. I was also hoping for some huge leerfish to come by so I can shoot it but I haven't seen any wallet sized ones so far this year. So yeah in the next dive I called them again and this time they came perfectly and I chose the biggest one. The heat was a bit high so walking the dog technique was necessary again. I even pulled some more line out to reduce the resistance as much as I could. I've lost fish before so I can say I was lucky with this one as the hit was really high. Here I managed to get above a couple of them and they didn't see me at all. This was a bit of cheap shot and I got this one kinda for free. It was a nice clean headshot which pinned this golden mullet to the sand bottom. Again the shoal of small leerfish and mullets and I wanted to see if they will escape if I try to dive down and get a better angle and they did exactly as I thought. This sea bass approached perfectly but I didn't feel like shooting it so it can grow bigger and come back next time. There is also this mullet that was probably hurt by leerfish or bluefish.
here the shoal of bluefish came out of the blue and I hit one too high and it tore off and escaped. Some trash again and thinking about it I realized only the dumbest NPCs drink shit like that which makes them die faster so I'm glad about it. Coming to the first spot again and sneaking the same way. The mullets approach similar to the first time and I picked one again. After the previous hit they escaped but the thing about mullets is they never go too far so I started slamming the spear gun against the rock to attract them. A few moments later they started approaching and another one came into the range so I shot it. I used to look down on the mullets kind of like a low hanging fruit but recently I changed my mind and I will be showing you why in the next video. That's all for today's spearfishing episode and if you're still not subscribed make sure to do that so you don't miss out on our future content. Thanks for watching and stay safe while diving.